Well, this is what's called a Cox TD.010. It is the smallest, or was the smallest, production gasoline engine in the world. It turns 27,000 RPM right out of the box on a 3 inch by 1.25 propeller. We're going to start this thing up and I'm going to fly it today on my flying rag. It looks more like an engine with a skirt, as one friend said. Well, the equipment needed to start the flying rag is shown. You needed fuel, starting battery, a glow plug clip, primer bottle, and a syringe fuel filler. Many of you old timers will recognize the familiar yellow glow plug clip and red and blue wires. The battery box is also an original Cox or thimble drone as they were known. Well this video is actually the second on this subject as many of you asked to see it again and also a little closer up of the skirt and how I have it on the engine. I also have an 010 in my tiny seaplane which was free flight and is made entirely from balsa. And to give you an idea of the size comparison of these old engines, I'm going to show you my 24 karat gold plated pistons. You know back in the day when I was doing shows, contests and working for craft, I also was selling piston power keychains, both regular and gold plated. Here you can see the size difference in the only set I have left. Well this is the typical hookup to start up the engine. The original Baby Bees, Golden Bees and others were reed valve engines and easily ran backwards just as well. So this simple spring starter was used to prevent that. It wound up as a staple on most other engines that Cox made because it worked really well and made the engine easy to start as you'll see. Okay, spring. <laughs> it's going a ways. Looks like a bird. It's gone. <laughs> I gotta go find it. Okay. Somewhere over there, top of those trees. Man, I am never, never gonna find this. I wonder if somebody lives there. never going to find it in there. Never going to find it in there. Oh, I better be careful when somebody lives here. Wow, I never even knew this place was back here. Look at this. <laughs> well, I have no idea where it's gonna be, but wait a minute, what's that? You're kidding me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was quite a flight. 
<laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Man, how lucky is that? It could have been out there. Could have been anywhere. I'd have never found it. Never, ever found it. I can't believe it. Well, the guys are watching over me in this flight. Well, my advice is if you're going to fly a flying rag, then uh, wait till the wind stops. <laughs> and thanks a lot for watching, folks.